Hi guys, I'm uh, still catching my breath because to get to these ruins, it's a hike. It's like a, you need to be fit. And not only that, to drive close to them, it's pretty much a dirt road and almost inaccessible for a small car. So I wanted to show you some more of the proof of there being a giant great city in the Americas um, and I mean in the continental United States and what we know as the United States today. So here we have more of Chaco Canyon. And this is really interesting. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this hole here. What you don't know about this hole is that it actually used to go down about 10 feet more. And inside was a place of learning where men who were of the native tribe that was here would teach the other men things they needed to know. So while it was religious, it wasn't a church. It was more like a place somebody would go to learn about their beliefs. So this is like seminary here. Now if we go up a little more here, and once again, just fantastic with how it rounds around and how flat this whole area is. And the mortar, I mean, they had windows and fireplaces, and they use timber in the construction. I mean, it is truly amazing. And there are so many of these. Like down there, if you can see my finger, is the most impressive of them, which is Casa Bonita. And that's because it is beautiful. But this site in particular, this one dates to 850 AD. So to put that into perspective, that was just around the end of Charlemagne's reign when the people who were the Franks just became France or were starting to become France. But you're looking at a multi-storied area, absolutely complex. Now, as I was mentioning before, this is sort of in between the continental divide. And there used to be a lot of water here, but people believe that once it dried up, these types of cities were unsustainable and the people migrated elsewhere. There's a good amount of evidence that the type of people who were here were much like the Hopi. So here's another beautiful Kiva stone can you just imagine with this having a roof on it and the stone going up it and the multi-story buildings and just being in the Americas and coming to see this as a European say in around the time it was built 850 AD when it was the dark ages and people were living in slums I mean they had stairs stairs windows flat walls masonry it almost makes you wonder whether or not there was contact before Columbus, before the Vikings got here for a second. I know they left. But how can so many cultures develop so similarly but yet have a 30,000 year difference between meeting each other? I mean, this is just gorgeous. Look at this brickwork. I mean, people would pay a ton to have brickwork like this on their house and this is ancient. Now look at that wall. I mean, this is like a fortification. And it goes on and on and on and on. And there's petroglyphs as well along the trail, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in with my cell phone camera because they're uh, kind of faded, but I mean, it's gorgeous. And this wall will lead to Another little town, and another little town, and another little town. So, 